to the Disneyland Resort main entrance plaza. Thank you. No. We're on the... We're on the... The cart. The tram. Brea Bakery for breakfast and kicking up discussion discussions with some coffee and a blueberry bagel. Ah. I ordered a turkey bacon mozzarella panini. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Take it out. Put it on top. Just arrived. We'll do some glamour shots, but this is oh, this is what it looks like. Just how you like it? Yeah, looks good. Alrighty. Which one do you want? I don't. Know. I hope this doesn't have pesto in it. Mmm, sour dough. Too sour? No, it's got sugar in it and my teeth hurt. Ah. Uh. The bacon's really good. I just want something crunchier in it. Like bacon? No, like <laughs> lettuce. You can't have some lettuce in a panini. If you press it, I know. it's just gonna get soggy. I'm just imagining a sandwich. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. I'm not a big fan of the bacon. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, it's like... Is it a little stale? No, it's not that it's a little stale. I mean, it's gonna get stale if you put it in a sandwich regardless. Unless you have it like straight from... Like, you know how at Jersey Mike's they have it like in a container? So like, if it's in a container, it's crunchier. Well, not really. It's a little stale too. But it's not under like a heat lamp. That's the idea. This bacon, you can tell, was like under a heat lamp or like in a heating container so that it's kept warm but not necessarily crunchy. So yeah, there's that. I don't know, it's not that it's stale though. It, I think it's because it's like thick cut and it's not very flavorful. Okay. I don't know. It's okay. not that thick cut, it's just thicker. The cheese, the cheese drag is nice. Yeah. The bread is really good. I like the bread. You just, that's because you're biased. Well. You like sourdough. Yes, I do. It's nice to have hot food in the morning. Thank you. Now, how does your coffee taste? <laughs> it's probably going to taste like Folgers. Because while I was pouring it, I think you can smell it. It's like Folgers. Yeah, there's like... Nothing special about the cup. I actually would have preferred McDonald's. This song is from Parting Dory. Nemo. Dory. Nemo. Really? It's kind of like your... Like Maxwell House coffee from like 7-Eleven. Okay. That's what it tastes like. Disneyland or California Adventure? Which one's Mickey Mouse? Both. Really? Fish. Yeah. Oh. Well then let's go to both. Okay, which one first? Mickey Mouse. Okay. Oh, fun an adventure. What happened? I'm trying to make it shorter. Cause it's too big for you. Oh my god, the beast! Oh my god, it's Belle and the Beast. Hello. Oh my goodness, not <laughs> How do you spell my name? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I did it. You're welcome. How do you spell my name? Everyone's giving me these books. <laughs> How do I spell my name? 
my daughter, say my name. That's good enough. Come on. What do you think? I like Gaston. You like Gaston? You're on his side? Why? Because he doesn't have to think a lot. They're using white onions, the cheapest kind. Wow. I just got a snack! Look at all You're so picky about your water, I barely touched it. Look at how small it is! Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this thing. Does that look small to you? Look at my face. See, look at my same, face. My face same, is small, okay? It's the same, <laughs> it's the same size as my, my face. See? <laughs> look. See? It's a big cup of water. Yeah, because you're big-headed. You have a water bottle. Cool. Don't touch my water. <laughs> that one has ice in it. So why didn't you tell me you want So <laughs> I was like, do you want a cup of water? And he's like, no, I'm okay. I'm like, okay, I'll just get one cup of water then. <laughs> he takes all the freaking water. I have a reason to be stingy. <laughs> if reason. you want some, I have a reason to be stingy. Have... It's free water, guys. By the way, free water. <laughs> but it's free, mean chug, yeah? Not yours. Oh. Whistle, whistle 
Snowwild Boutique, like Snow White. Oh no. Yeah, it's Snow White. Okay, it's Snow White. Thank you, Miss Snow White. You work for our new. I'm pretty sure it's homemade, handmade ears. But yeah, they were just sitting here. I'm so happy. I don't think they fit you. Why wouldn't they? Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Item number, th item number three. Oh my gosh! I feel like I feel like I've had so much sugar already. <laughs> You're still raising time. It's, a, it's really hard to bite, actually. <laughs> Did you get all over your shirt? Huh? No? Okay. I can't finish this whole thing. It's like those C's butterscotch candies. Oh, with a light touch of marshmallow. And the rest is crystal rock sugar. Take another bite. Of goodness. It's too sweet. I know it's really sweet. It's really sweet and really chewy. Everybody says that this is a must try at Disneyland. But like, once I tell you it's like a butterscotch candy with sugar, it's pretty much what you're gonna, it's gonna taste like what you're expecting pretty much. So I don't think it's, I don't think you need to get it. I think it's really, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's really novelty. Okay. But it's it's like fun because it's like it's Winnie the Pooh theme. So they have like the Cheshire Cat one, which is like pink, and basically all these other kinds that are like different in theme. But it's basically like kind of it's just your typical sweet treat. I don't know. Yeah. Which well, is because it's themed. It's really novelty. And it's kind of if you like a lot of sweets, I mean, if you like really really rich sweet candies and like. Sweet tooth, I think this is for you. And I think it's definitely worth it to try, but we're not really sweet tooth. So it's it's I think we're gonna pass on this one. Hey look, all of a sudden he's darker than me. Nope, he's still darker than me. It's the lighting, it's the lighting. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. The best part. Is it now? Yes. Yes, sir. Already spent a lot of time to close. Now I'm gonna eat my favorite. Nope, I need more. Sort of mayo. It's a seasoning. Yeah, it's like it's like mayo with seasoning, but I don't know what the seasoning is. It is so delicious. Is there Parmesan cheese or minced garlic? Both. Are there potatoes? Mm, I don't think so. They might be frozen. It's not like you know where when you bite into it, it's kind of like starchy. You can still taste the starch. Because it's like fresh, fresh potatoes. But the seasoning's better. That's spicy. <laughs> it's it's spicy. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh 
with this or not? Oh, it was totally under the heat lamp. Yeah. Okay, let me take this one. Oh no. What? I touched my nose with like Tabasco on my. Oh no. I don't. Yeah. I have spicy nose syndrome. Yo, what's up, guys? So, so basically, she left me by myself in a restaurant with all of the food. And, and I don't know if I should just eat everything or if I should like wait and like and like I take everything in the little box and then just leave. I think it would be pretty funny. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, but yeah, she left. Alrighty. Did you finish my gumbo? Nope. You finish your gumbo. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Alright, I'm gonna get started. Is it a beignet? Oh, good. I don't know if I can finish any of this. Oh, it's so good. You should have finished mine before you finish it. Imagine having that when you go to school every day. I know. It's so unhealthy. It is really good. Yeah, it's like a crispy donut with like meat inside. Then you have the jam to spread on top of it. So it's like sweet and savory. It's really well made. Mm. It's like crispy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. And then the cheese melts when you bite into it. It's great. And right, the oiliness, and like the heaviness of the meat, and the cheese, and the fried stuff, is a balance with the fruit. That's, I wish they had more down I'm not gonna lie though. Yeah. Yeah. I do want, thank you. She took my bowl. I do want some more gumbo. The gumbo is $7 for that small little bowl that you saw. But it's so good. Don't you just love the puffiness of the donut? And it's like, is it a dessert? Or is it a meal? It's French. Why not? Both. Because I mean, you don't really need fruit and cheese, you know? But they go really well together. The saltiness and the sweetness of the fruit is just like... And the cheese is just... It's, it works. Just the two things we like. Salty and sweet. And nobody like that. Bitter. Like, food that's more interesting like this is just more fun for me and I enjoy like trying different things like this. Like, foods that are sweet and, or sour or spicy, things like that is just, you know, more interesting food compared to a lot of the foods that we're used to that's just kind of salty and savory. Like, everybody loves a really good T-bone steak because what? Salty and savory. Exactly, because everybody likes beef fat, and everybody likes, you know, um, everybody likes salty food. You. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It like melts in your mouth and it's very savory, but you know, it got another depth of flavor to that with it. Like, for example, everybody likes A1 sauce for their steaks, right? And that's what salad and it adds that extra depth of flavor. I actually don't like A1 sauce. I know, but a lot of people use it. Not you specifically. But if you try, you know, a lot of these other things that have these extra depths of flavor, be it sweet, salty, or, I mean sweet, um, sour, or spicy, it's just, it just makes for a more interesting dish. And a lot of the times, a lot of our favorite dishes have one of those components. We just don't really realize it. And a lot of the good foods that we think are really good are just kind of salty and savory, but they won't be our favorite dishes because it's hard to eat every single day. Yeah. Anyway, food for thought. Food for thought. I'm done though. You had like half a sandwich. I had a sandwich this morning, and then I had onion rings, and then I had this, and then I had the gumbo. Because I'm like loaded up on carbs today, that's why I'm so full. Everybody should try this. 
is quite delicious. And the gumbo. I totally recommend the gumbo. It's very delicious. Don't put too much Tabasco. No. Overload. Overload. No. Overload all the time. No. Destroy your palate. No. Shout out to Lisette and Ashley. I'm pretty sure they would be like, yeah, more Tabasco. No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Yeah? Did you see how much Tabasco she put on? It wasn't even enough. <laughs> Why is Stitch there? That's not a dog. Hey guys, so we've gone full circle. We forgot to take a shot of the La Brea Bakery um, logo. So we came back to take a shot of it for the video. And then we're gonna say bye. Thanks for watching Discussions, ep Discussions Episode 2. Bye. Thank you. Hope you like everything we ate. And we hope you come and try them yourself. Please like and subscribe and make sure to hit the notifications button so you know every time that I post a new video. Thank you!